Cancer is a very common disease that will affect one in three of us during our lifetime. And it's a major cause of illness and death worldwide. Cancer is truly a global problem. It affects people across the world, regardless of geography or socioeconomic development. Cancer is a very serious illness, but it can be treated. We've known for years that the best time to treat cancer is to intervene early before the disease becomes established and before it spreads. Although we've known the importance of early intervention in cancer for several years, the majority of cancer research still focuses on the late stages of the disease. My colleagues and I at the MRC Cancer Unit have a different mission. We seek to understand the earliest steps in the development of cancer in order to develop better methods to detect the disease early and to treat or in the future even prevent it and to develop new technologies that will help us to achieve this. So the big challenges that face us now are how to detect cancers early, how to understand which types are most likely to progress to serious disease and to develop new methods to treat or even prevent these high-risk types. To solve these challenges, we first need to better understand the earliest steps in the development of cancer. Although there has been an explosion of information recently concerning late stages of the disease, early steps in development are still pretty badly understood. Our researchers study several different forms of cancer. Cancers of the gullet, the pancreas, the lung, or the kidneys, for example, in order to understand what causes them to occur and to chart the steps that lead to their formation. Our discoveries concerning the early steps in cancer have in turn led to new approaches for the early detection of cancer, some of which are now being applied in the clinic. These discoveries have also led us to develop new ideas of how to better treat or prevent cancer, which we hope in the future will reach the clinic for patient benefit. To give a few examples, researchers in our institute have discovered how faults in the genes that we inherit can increase the susceptibility of families to particular forms of cancer and have also led to the development of new tests for the early detection of cancers of the gullet or the cervix that are now being used in hospitals and clinics. Our institute is part of the University of Cambridge and the Medical Research Council. We're located on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus next to Addenbrooke's Hospital. We employ about 150 staff, including scientists, clinicians, support staff, and administrators, as well as a group of very enthusiastic students. It's a privilege for me to work with such a dedicated group of colleagues, and you will see and hear them explaining their work.